Okay, do we do this together? This isn't exactly what Taylor J thought her Oakland clothing store would look like when she signed the lease at the beginning of the year. So we were just in a, in a space of like celebrating our customers. Um, our calendar was full of events in the store and all of these amazing things that we were going to be doing from the space. So as soon as COVID hit, it was kind of almost like a, a nightmare of like, oh gosh, what are we going to do now? <laughs> The Bay Area native decided to pivot. Taylor J Collections, a women's contemporary clothing brand with a focus on comfy pieces, started making masks and taking orders online. As the pandemic stretched on, she got a grant from the Oakland African American Chamber of Commerce, which ensured that her business would keep going too. We're oftentimes uh, rejected, ignored, or even, even looked at. So. Having the grant that you feel confident that you're going to receive and they're not going to look at you, your business, and you being black and just say, oh, you know, no, it's necessary. We need it. We have, we are the ones that have problems with funding. A study by the Kaufman Foundation found that black entrepreneurs relied the most on personal credit cards as a form of outside credit to fund new companies or acquire existing ones. It also found nearly six in 10 black entrepreneurs who did not seek additional financing despite needing it did so because they thought the business would not be approved by a lender. I I'm just happy. I the company stepped up. Kathy Adams, president and CEO of the Oakland African American Chamber of Commerce, says challenges like those pushed the organization to raise $1 million for black-owned businesses, hit especially hard during COVID-19. When the PPP funds came out due to systemic racism, how our communities are marginalized anyway, our businesses were not getting that money. Some of the businesses have closed. It was our effort to say we can't save them all, but if we could just save a few. The OAACC has given grants to more than 150 businesses, including the Museum of African American Technology Science Village, which will use the money to further its vision of allowing children to play and have fun with science. We have the uh, beginnings of our new exhibit that feature outstanding scientists and engineers. We have about 20 more of these that we will place. The donations came from everywhere. I told everybody no amount is too small. So we got like well over 200 plus people, whether it was 10 or 25, it all made the difference. A community coming together to ensure its survival. Kumasi Aaron. ABC 7 News.